Hello, everyone. Nice to see you here on Thursday evening. My name is Jackie Sinclair, and I am the owner of Go Digital Diva Services. And I usually don't do lives. Um, I just, just not a thing for me. I don't know why. But I have been getting a lot of messages and phone calls and talking with a lot of people on some specific things that I thought um, a bigger audience would be able to find beneficial. So that's why I'm hopping on here to kind of come to you quickly, not too long, and um, talk to you about your message. Uh, so again, my name is Jackie Sinclair. Um, I am a social media manager, virtual assistant, client support uh, specialist, and I am so happy that um, you're tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, and please, if you have any questions along the way, um, drop it in the comments. Um, if you're watching the replay, send me a message or drop a comment um, watching the replay, and I will be sure to go back and um, answer it. So I want to talk about messaging. Uh, as a social media manager, my job is to help my clients get their message out to the social platforms. So uh, whether it's through Facebook, through Instagram, through Pinterest, through Twitter, I, um, I am the one who helps take that content and break it up into bite-sized pieces to put out to the world. Now, if you have someone who is really clear on their message, who has a lot of um, content that kind of flows freely through them that um, they can easily, you know, output to me. It makes my job really, really simple. And I love that. <laughs> However, that's an ideal client. And we all know that sometimes those are not what um, we get. And so I've been talking to a lot of people recently, and I'm noticing this trend, and I uh, have been watching a few other uh, coaches that have been doing lives, and they're seeing the same exact thing. So this shift to online personalities, online brands, is fantastic. It's opening up a whole other world for people. There's so many new resources available, and it's a great movement forward from the traditional um, you know, if you wanted to get um, fit or, or, or um, work with your diet, you had to go out and seek like a nutritionist or dietitian. And now you can easily find a program online um, by somebody who is well known in the community. So with that comes a lot of people who kind of get on the bandwagon as well and and they want to become that person. They want to become that go-to person for, you know, fashion, for hair tutorials, for um, meal prep, and that's great. However, they, they haven't solidified their message to their audience yet. And so what I've been telling a lot of people is, well, who are you? You, you haven't really, you know, people come on here to the online world and they think that they're going to be this, you know, sensation overnight and they, they haven't given their audience any time to warm up or get to know them. And so it's really important when you come online that you establish this pretty early on or you work through it to make sure that your message becomes very organic and established within you. So the main thing is connecting with your audience on who are you? You know, are you a single parent? Are you married? Are you, um, you know, very devout to your religion? Are you, um, you know, are you a city gal? Are you a country gal? Who, who's, what's at the roots of you, right? People want to know you before they buy from you, okay? So if you don't have a lot of that online or, um, a presence of that in your social media, it's going to reflect and people are going to not be as turned on. You know, there are a number of people that I watch and I've ordered from because they are online all the time. They're talking, they're interacting, they're showing us their lives. And I feel like I know them like they're my neighbor and I feel comfortable buying from them. And that's such an important thing when you're selling online, whether it's a product or service, you have to make people feel like you're in their living room or you're just chatting with your friends. That's going to be what really nurtures that relationship and 
solidifies them as a client possibly, you know, or a really good lead. And sometimes like me, <laughs> I hang out and watch for a while before I buy, but I really enjoy the fact that people still interact with me, even though I might not be an active client at that moment. So it's really, really important. And I try to tell people this when I'm working with them, you have to get rid of that fear of putting yourself out there online. If you want to be um, a health coach, if you want to be a blogger, if you want to sell a product, you have to be okay with getting in front of the camera and showing everybody who you are because that's going to be a huge part of your success, right? Hey, Crystal, what's up, girlfriend? Um, you're actually one of the people that I tune into all the time because you, you're you such a fantastic personality just to watch, and then you're selling a quality product. So you're kind of that whole package, so keep going. You, you're, doing, you're doing so good. Um, the other thing is you have to tell people what you do, <laughs> and you have to be somewhat specific about it. I have worked with coaches in the past that they're – life coaches, relationship coaches, business coaches, I mean, all sorts of coaches. And I look at them, I'm like, what do you want to be to your audience, right? What are you trying to be? Because you're not going to get your clients if you're all over the place and people don't know what your specialty is. People want to know what your expertise is. What is your expertise in? And I find it hard that you're an expert in all these different areas. And if I find it hard, then I know that other people who don't know you, because I know you, are going to have that same issue. They're going to have that hesitancy because they don't really know if you're just scattering your knowledge or if you're really going to deep dive with them into one particular place that they need the most help with. So I always tell anybody in the coaching realm, it's really important that you zone in on one particular area. If you're a health coach, what's the biggie thing that connects to your life? Because again, we're coming back to who you are. How is what you do or what you sell part of who you are? Those are two interchangeable things, right? And so I explain to clients that you have to really know what your specialty is because that's going to be part of your story and that's what people want to hear. That's what people want to know. That's what they buy from you is their, their story mirrors your story. And if you proved that you could get through it, then they can get through it. And so it's really important that you get a clear visual of what you want to be telling your people. Really, you know, if you're a health coach, are you gut health? Are you autoimmune? Are you, you know, are you specialty with moms? You know, what kind of um, specialty are you? Are you, um, you know, helping with meal planning? Are you doing, um, um, are you helping with getting um, grocery lists together? Where to go? Like, there's one gal I follow and her whole thing her whole blog is about you know moms um single it's for single moms but it's explaining you know where to go to shop for fifty dollars for the week for groceries how to take those groceries and make you know five meals out of them how to meal prep you know so that your meals through the week are easy peasy done ready to go that's that's a very specific thing and she has done a fantastic job of carving that niche out and finding those people that really relate to her on that that can really use those tips and and helpful tricks to get through their week right so that's again i am not going i'm going to repeat myself about 20 times on this it's so 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 important to know you know what do you do Right. When I first got on here, I explained to people, I'm a virtual assistant. And they said, great. What does that mean? And I had to figure out, shoot, what does that mean? Like, how do I explain that in more detail so people really know when they think of something, they know to come to me. Right. So that's really what you want. When people think of something or they have a problem, you want to be the first solution in their mind when that problem pertains to your specialty. Right. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is 
why are you the best choice, right? Why, what are you bringing to the table that's better than the person next to you that's, you know, serving the same thing? What extra stuff have you put in? Why are you more of an expert than the person that is offering it for the same price or maybe a lower price, maybe a higher price, right? You have to show that as part of your message as well. Why do you deserve that person as a client? You know, I know I'm a kick-ass social media manager. I know it because I've seen it in my results. I've seen it in the excitement that uh, my clients have when I report to them on their numbers. And that's what I tell people when I'm talking with potential clients. I show them my numbers and I say, look, this is what I've done for previous clients. This is my work. And for me, that speaks for itself. But I also am very transparent when I talk with potential clients. I tell them I'm honest. I'm a mom and a wife, so my family will come first. But I'll be up till 2 o'clock in the morning working if you have a big project or deadline, right? That's who I am. I'm not one of those people who you pay and then I disappear and I take your money. Or you get half-assed work because I'm not really as good as I said I was. That's not who I am, right? And for me, I try to, on my social media pages, I try to depict a story of who I am, my, my family, my business, um, what I do during the day, how my days look. I try to make sure that that's all encompassing because I don't do these lives very often. So I don't get in front of people like this. And so they don't see me in this way, right? They, they see this when we talk via Zoom or <laughs> FaceTime. But until that point, they're just going off of what they see online. So for people who don't necessarily like going live, even though I tell my clients it's the number one thing to do, <laughs> I don't necessarily take my own advice. But um, I try to paint a picture on the other um, areas that people can see. And that's what I tell my clients to do as well. You have to be okay with sharing your personal along with your business. Because again, it's down to what's your story? What is your you know, reasoning for doing what you're doing? That's what people are gonna buy. That's the message you wanna give out. That's the message you want to tell your people. And there's all these platforms to do it on. There's Facebook, there's Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, um, Twitter. There's, I'm sure I'm missing some. You know, Some people love to do the Snapchat. I personally don't get the Snapchat thing, but I've seen it work for other people. Once you know where your people are, once you know where your ideal clients, where your audience is hanging out, that's the platform that you wanna drive all your traffic through because that's where you're gonna get all your visibility is once you figure that out, once you figure out your message and where you get the best reaction to it. So a lot of times I tell people too, once you've got all these who, what, whys, put it out on all the platforms and see where you get the best response from because that's where maybe all of your people are hanging out and that's where you want to be hanging out as well. So the who, what, why, I want to say one more time, really, really important. Um, and if you don't know, then take a pause from being online right now because what happens is, is sometimes you're so scattered that you don't you you don't get any traction and it it's frustrating and it can be really kind of a, a, a letdown right and you start you're like okay I'm, I'm done this isn't for me right but you haven't really put the time in to figure out that who are you what do you do and why are you the best option and I can tell you once you figure that out, then the whole concept of becoming, of going online and putting yourself out there, it's gonna be so much easier to do than if you're unsure of who you are and what you have to offer and why you're the person to go with. Once you know that and you have all that down and you feel it in your bones, then it's so easy to get out there and add value to groups to other people's pages, to your own page for people to view and share. 
it all comes so much more naturally once you have all that established. And it's not going to happen overnight. I, this is my specialty is helping people figure this out and get their, um, their message out to the world. And it took me almost a year to figure it out. So it's not going to come easily sometimes. And you have to work through bad things to get to that point where you know, like I know exactly who I am now. I know exactly what I can do. And I know that I'm really good at it. And because of that, I now am super confident in when I walk into a phone call with somebody or a video call or I'm talking with somebody casually, I um, will randomly go up to people now in public <laughs> and, and tell them, hey, this is what I do and I might be able to help you with your problem, you know? And I would have never done that a few years ago, ever, because I had no idea where this whole thing was going. So the other part of your messaging is don't get, you know, don't get frustrated. Try not to get frustrated. You will get frustrated. Try not to get too frustrated to the point where you're like, F it, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Because I promise on the other side of that will come so much more clarity on what you want to do. And it's right at that point where you reach this message and you solidify who you are and, and what you do and why you're the best to the world. And it's such a good feeling when it happens. And so it's a work in progress. So you have to understand that it's a work in progress and you have to feel it in your bones to know that it's right. I went through phases where I was like, oh yeah, I can do this and I can do that. But it wasn't, it wasn't anything that I absolutely loved. And that came through with people. They could tell. They're like, you don't seem like you really like it that much. And I'm like, oh, no, I like it. I really like it. No, I didn't really like it. But I didn't really know what to do at that moment other than say that. And now I know, seeing it in the rear of your mirror, that that wasn't what I loved. And you have to do what you love in this online world of business or else you won't succeed and I've had a lot of people that I stepped into this um, role with over the last few years that have left because they just they couldn't do it they didn't want to do it they didn't want to push forward and it makes me really sad because they had so much potential they had so much um, you know knowledge and and so much to give that they didn't Obviously, they didn't have enough, though, because they didn't push forth to make it to the other side. So in closing, because I've been on here now a little while, I welcome anybody to send me a message or comment if you have any kind of struggle or questions on, Jackie, how, how do I find my message? What, who, how do I figure out who I am? How do I figure out what exactly I do? I know that I want to work with people on you know, wellness. What does that mean? I know that I'm good because I have these credentials or I have this experience. How do I translate that to something more tangible that I can offer people? That's where I can help you. And that's where a lot of um, brand strategists, brand consulting um, agencies, they kind of come in as well. But a lot of people aren't at that level. They don't have that kind of money, right? But I'm here to help anybody else who has those questions. I've been through it. I understand it. I get it. And I've worked with a lot of people that are working through it as well. So I've been able to help them through that process. So I understand what it looks like at all the different places you might be right at this moment. You know, maybe you know who you are, but you don't really know what you want to specialize in per se. You know, you don't know what you want to be kind of known as um, if you were to get to that point, right? And, and you definitely aren't quite sure why you're the best. You know you're good, but you still get intimidated when you're next to somebody who possibly has the same exact credentials and the same exact experience as you. You have to learn how to be able to stand out and be not, you don't have to be better than them. You just have to feel like you're better than them when you're talking to your client because that confidence is gonna to translate to your client and they're gonna want the person who's a hell of a lot more confident in themselves than the little shy mouse who isn't quite sure what, if they're really as good as they say they are. So, all right guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was somewhat helpful. 
I tried really hard not to talk too fast. And I, again, want anybody to comment if you have any questions. And happy Thursday. Have a great evening.